Hi, my name's Jess and I'm an immunisation nurse with the Bolton immunisation team. I'm going to talk to you about the two vaccines that you will receive in year 10 to protect you against diphtheria, tetanus and polio. and meningococcal ACWY. Diphtheria is a serious disease that usually begins with a sore throat and can quickly cause breathing problems. It can damage the heart, nervous system and in serious cases it can kill. Tetanus is a painful disease that affects the nervous system. It can lead to muscle spasm causing breathing problems and that can also kill. It is caused when germs found in soil and manure get into the body through open wounds and burns. Polio is a virus which attacks the nervous system and can cause permanent paralysis of the muscles. If polio affects the chest muscles or brain, it can also kill. Meningococcal disease is a really serious infection that can cause meningitis, which is inflammation of the lining of the brain, and or septicemia, also known as blood poisoning. Both of these can kill. There are symptoms of meningitis and septicemia that it is important for you to be aware of, such as fever and vomiting, severe joint pain, pale mottled skin, a rash that can be anywhere on the body, stiffness of the neck, confusion and delirious, and also seizures. The effects of meningitis can be short term or permanent, but it is important for you to remember that ultimately it can be fatal and it can kill. The effects of septicemia can also be short term or permanent, but again, it is a very serious condition and ultimately it can kill. Hi, my name's Katie and I'm one of the nurses with the Bolton immunisation team. So why are diphtheria, tetanus, polio and meningitis vaccines needed? You need these two boosters to complete your routine immunisation schedule and give you longer term protection. Before you started primary school, you should have received four doses of the diphtheria, tetanus and polio vaccine and three doses of the meningitis C vaccine. For protection against the four groups, A, C, W and Y, of meningococcal infection, it is important to have one dose of men A, C, W, Y vaccine before you reach 25 years of age. So what do you need to do? You will receive an envelope containing a consent form and an information leaflet to take home to give to your parent or guardian. This form must be completed and returned to school by the date on the letter even if your parent or guardian does not want you to have the injections. Late returns may result in a delay to you getting your injections. The immunisation process. The injection is offered in school by a team of qualified nurses. The injection is given in the muscle at the top of your arm with a small needle. This will only take a few seconds. And it's important to remember the needle that we use for these vaccines are also the needles that we use for newborn babies. Usually each injection is given in a different arm. This is because we like to see if you have a reaction to the injection, which injection was given in that arm. It is important to sit still whilst you receive your vaccines and you will be able to return to class when you've finished. On immunisation day, don't worry, it's a very simple process and try not to let other people scare you. It's important to remember on the day of your immunisations to wear a short sleeve shirt. It's also important to eat breakfast and make sure you drink regularly throughout the day. If you are feeling nervous, please sit down and have a chat with the nurse about the way you feel. Hopefully we can offer you some reassuring advice and you'll feel comfortable to have your vaccinations. After the vaccines, some people do experience some mild side effects. This could be pain, redness or swelling on your arm where you've had the injection, and, but this is normal and passes very quickly. We will give you some information on how to look after yourself following the immunisations. Try not to miss your injection, but if you do, your school nurse can arrange to come back and see you at a later date. So please remember, 
you must return your consent form to school even if your parent or carer does not wish for you to receive the vaccinations. If you'd like more information about these vaccines, there is a website in the booklet provided to you in the envelope from school. You can also call us on the number provided on this slide between 8am and 4pm Monday to Friday.